to whip Sylvanas Asoro has said they have marshaled enough members of parliament from both the Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa political divide to support the finance bill 2023. And as Chadra Kareria reports, the High Court sitting in Nairobi has certified as urgent a petition filed by Busia Senator Oke Omtata seeking to quash the controversial financial bill 2023 in its entirety. Was left before the parliament resumes its sections on Tuesday, where MPs are expected to debate on the controversial bill. Members of parliament alive to the government having sleepless nights as they are rushing against time to convince as many MPs as possible to back the bill in order to gather sizable votes comes Thursday. Well while addressing a press conference at the parliament building, Majority Whip Silvanas Osoro stated that he has marshaled enough MPs to support the 2023 finance bill in parliament. I had a meeting with about 100 members from the majority side in faces. I met 40, another 40, and then 20. And tomorrow I'm also meeting about tomorrow I'm also meeting about 50 members of uh, parliament from the majority side. And um, they are convinced that the bill is the right thing to do for this country, and they support it. So already I'm starting with a number of about 150. You know, because winning, elect, winning uh, in the National Assembly is about strategy. What numbers do you have? Osoro stated that he has also secured assurance from some Azimio leaders who support the bill. What we should be focusing as members of parliament in our oversight role is to curb corruption. The main challenge is the leakage in the executive. It doesn't really make sense that you have even CSS moving around with about five cars or ten cars. Such are the things that we need now to immediately we pass this. Such are the things that we want to discuss. We want to ask panic. Like in the eventual last day, what is it? Whether Vileiko ama Vileiko, it is amended. So either way, when it is amended that time. This comes as the High Court has declined to issue orders stopping the finance bill debate. Justice Hedwin Ongondi has however certified the matter as urgent and ordered the application by Busia Senator Kiom Tata to be served within three days. On its part, the Azimio coalition has asked President William Ruto to withdraw what they termed as oppressive finance bill, signaling the return of anti-government protest after their Thursday declaration. And we are going to tell Kenya what to do. I've been asked whenever I go, Tangaza Mandaman, Tamaza Mandaman, we are putting them on notice to Tatangaza. Shadrakaria, look up TV.